Hi, everybody. Michael Laitler here, leadership coach, but also the Area 1 Director of Division A and District 68 in Toastmasters. I know lately we've been rocked, and not, as, not just as a country, but also as a nation because of the coronavirus. And because of that, a lot of the things that we're currently doing in Toastmasters has shifted, specifically hosting meetings, where most clubs are meeting twice a month, if not weekly. Now we have to shift all of our meetings to virtual until further notice. I just want to give you guys a quick rundown on how to su successfully conduct a virtual meeting using Zoom. I know there's other platforms out there, but this is the one that's been most effective for me. And I want to make sure that everybody has the same opportunity to be able to have a good meeting for all their members. I know we're coming up at the end of March, and I know a lot of people are trying to make their membership renewals as well as draw other members in. So going forward over the next probably 10 to 20 minutes, I'm just gonna give, give you a quick rundown and allow you the opportunity to see some of the tools that I'll be utilizing at my clubs that you can also utilize at your club. Now, for starters, I'm gonna do something called a share screen. And what that is, that allows you to see a PowerPoint. Only reason I'm using a PowerPoint is to show you some of the tools that are gonna be on the screen. Now, for those that, still need more help, I kind of explain to you a little bit more at the end on how we can actually do a practical run of a meeting, but make sure that you do pay attention and make sure you subscribe to my page on YouTube because that's where this is currently being posted and share with people that you know. Let them know that there is a plan in place for us to continue the Toastmasters journey. Just because you can't meet in person doesn't mean you can't meet online. So let's go ahead and get this, share, this screen shared so we can get this next part of the presentation going. How to conduct a successful virtual meeting. The outline for this presentation consists of basic tools, additional tools, ways to share, conducting the meeting, and how do you plan for your next meeting? Your basic tools, a laptop or a desktop computer. You will need that in order to record your presentation through Zoom or to have it live. Without that, there is going to be another tool I'm going to talk about on the next page, but this is, like I said, the basic tool you'll need. You need a webcam. In order to ensure that you're seeing people one-on-one, -on -one, make sure you have something, whether it's connected to the laptop or you buy a portable webcam. Next is your microphone. That is very important on hearing people. Now, there's another platform I'm gonna talk about in a moment, but the audio portion of what you hear is very crucial to understanding what's going on in the presentation, internet connection. This can make or break your presentation when it comes to being able to hear people clearly, see them clearly. If you're gonna to choose to go to, let's say, Barnes and Nobles or a coffee shop, something of that nature, ensure their connection is good before you get there. If not, if you're utilizing your computer at your home, which with social distancing we're aiming for, make sure that you're in a room that gets great connection to the router because the farther you go away from the router, the less your connection will be or the, the less strong it'll be. And finally, the platform. Like I said, this presentation is going to be on Zoom, but you can also use another platform called Free Conference Call, which I know a lot of people like, but just for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna use Zoom for this presentation. And I do recommend that you do at least try Zoom to see how much you like it. Some additional tools. You probably, wanna, you, you probably weren't able to tell, but in my office, I do have a lighting, additional lighting. Yes, there's lighting that's above in the ceiling fan and from other rooms, but additional lighting can make the quality of your picture look even better. If you have a chance, not like a flashlight or nothing like that, but you could check things like Amazon and for less than $50, you can get some better lighting to put in your office or wherever you're going from in order to enhance your video quality. Next, you can use a cell phone. That's one of the cool things about Zoom. You can literally be anywhere and utilize it. I know in what I just said on the last slide, I talked about basic tools using your laptop or a desktop but you can't utilize Zoom through your phone. How do you share this? How do you get people going with Zoom? Well, first and foremost, you should utilize free Toast Toast. 
put in your agenda that you're going to, the, the meeting's going to be online, virtual, to allow people the opportunity to see what they have coming up. Email people constantly, text them, do whatever you can to share this because you want to make sure that people are coming to your meeting that you're about to host. Conducting the meeting. Although you may be able to give an agenda out ahead of time, make sure you have one on standby. Just like I'm sharing the screen now with you, also do that when the meeting starts. Go through it. One of the things you're supposed to do anyways when you, before you start your meeting is make sure every, all the roles are filled, ensuring you have Toastmasters, speaker, table topics, evaluator, whatever that may be. That way, if you put it on the screen, the participants can say, okay, I see that hole is open or I see that spot is vacant. Utilize that agenda early on in your presentation, go through audio. Learn how to turn off everyone's audio, especially when you're talking. The last thing you wanna do is have someone's background noise or someone's cell phone go off during someone's presentation or even your presentation. Thus, make sure you find the button that allows you to turn off and on everybody's audio. Chat box. One of the nice things about Zoom is that you have a chat box. Your sergeant at arms or whoever you designate, ensure that that person's monitoring that chat box. They may be able to give pointers of the audio is not loud enough. I can't hear him. Can you have them repeat? Whatever that may be, you can have that sergeant at arms monitor that chat box and he'll be able to relay it to you, whether that's texting you during the, the meeting or calling you just saying, hey, you know what? We need to do this or do that. And then make sure you use a, a Toastmaster toast to move the meeting along. The last thing you want to have is your meeting everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Because when that happens, that really slows you down. Now, when it comes to future meetings, you want to ensure that you're also setting that up. You're, you're giving people the chance to sign up. Once again, that goes back to the prior slide that talked about Toast Toast use your email or text, but you always want to make sure you're planning for the next one. This may be the last time in a while you get to talk to somebody. So utilize that to your advantage. Say, okay, guys, who wants to sign up for the next meeting? Then obviously, if you have any questions, you can get in contact with me, email, social media, website, because I want to ensure that you are able to conduct a productive meeting. Now, I know that was quick, just only a few minutes, but I really wanted you guys to just get an idea of some of the tools and some of the requirements to have a good meeting through Zoom. Now, there's also other factors of planning, who's going to be involved, how many speakers are you going to have, the dates and times, but getting ahead of some of these obstacles through the few slides I showed you will really set you in the right direction. Once again, if you have any questions or you want to run through it a few times, I'm more, than, I'm more than happy to help you out. Go back to my contact page. You can email me, find me through social media, my website, whatever that may be, and we can do a dry run of a meeting for your club. And that way, you'll have that experience. You'll know how to turn off people's microphone, how to turn on their microphone. You'll notice when people come in. If there's an error with the connection, you'll, you'll already have an idea of how to do that. You'll also know how to share your screen when you're ready to put that agenda up there. But remember, use this presentation, very short, very short and sweet, as kind of a roadmap to getting into your next meeting. Because just because we can't meet in person doesn't mean that we can't meet virtually. And obviously, through some of the new programs like Pathways and Basecamp, that's the goal. That's what we're leaning towards. Now, it's just an opportunity for us to use it. Thank you for taking the time and watching this video, listening to it, whatever you may be doing. I hope that you have your next, next meeting successfully when it's done online. And if you need anything, please let me know. I'm available. Remember, it is simple. Create your legacy.